Well, good Thursday morning to you folks. Hopefully things are going well with you. I hope you had a good night's rest. You are ready to face the day. I'm going to read to you from book number two of Then Sings My Soul. This is the second volume of this, 150 of the World's Greatest Hymn Stories. On Jordan's Stormy Banks, or I Am Bound for the Promised Land, whichever one. When we read it, you'll find out more about it. 1787. Greater love hath no man than this, that a man lay down his life for his friends. John 15, 13. Samuel Stennett, the Seventh-day Baptist who wrote on Jordan's Stormy Banks, originally titled it Heaven Anticipated, a sentiment that later comforted a dying 21-year-old spy. Sam Davis was a student in Nashville when the Civil War broke out. He joined the Confederate Army and proved such a fearless soldier that he was selected for an elite group of spies named Coleman's Scouts. Sam excelled as an undercover agent. Once he even shared a table at Nashville's St. Cloud Hotel with General William Ro Rosecrans, listening to a discussion of Yankee battle plans. In November 1863, Sam was seized in Giles County, Tennessee, and thrown into jail. The maps and papers under his saddle exposed him as a spy. His captors promised to spare his life if he would only reveal the identity of the mysterious Coleman. Sam refused, and it fell to Private C.B. Van Pelt to inform him of his sentence. I read him a copy of his death sentence, Van Pelt later said. A reprieve was ex extended, which I also read to him, if he would inform us where Coleman was. He stood before me, an uncrowned hero, his eyes flashing and said, I will die a thousand deaths before I betray my friends. We were both moved to tears and remained silent for a time. Unknown to the Yankee soldiers, Coleman was really Dr. H.B. Shaw, who at that moment was being held in an adjacent cell and who was later released. On the eve of his execution, Sam wrote to his dear mother, saying, Oh, how painful it is to write to you. I have got to die tomorrow morning, to be hanged by the Federals. Mother, do not grieve for me. I must bid you goodbye forever. Chaplain James Young spent the day before the hanging praying with Sam. That night, into a small worship service, Sam asked if they would sing on Jordan's stormy banks. Young later said he would never forget the young soldier's animated voice as he sang, I am bound for the promised land. I am bound for the promised land. Today, there is a monument honoring Sam Davis on the grounds of Tennessee State Capitol. Underneath are the words, Greater love hath no man than this, that a man lay down his life for his friends. Now, when this book was written, uh, let me see here. Mm, came into print. Well, I don't see exactly when. When this book was written, that may have very well been a statue on those grounds. It's hard today to tell whether there is one there or not because of the way um, history seems to have been and is being erased. But this song, as I um, looked at it and I thought, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll give this song a shot and I I read that story, I thought of how um, that young man must have felt, and the very fellow that he wouldn't give up was just adjacent to him. It's important to be faithful 
um, to the Lord. If you can say anything looking into the face of death, it should be, and hopefully it will be this. I am bound for the promised land. I know where I'm going. And I pray today you can say that as well. On Jordan's stormy banks I stand And cast the wishful eye To Canaan's fair and happy land Where my possessions lie I am bound for the promised land I am bound bound for the promised land. Oh, the transporting rapturous sea that rises to my side. Sweet fields arrayed in living green and rivers of that never fell on trees immortal grow their rocks and hills and brooks and bells with milk and honey flow all o'er those wide extended plains shines one eternal day there God the sun forever reigns and scatters night away I am bound for the promised land I am bound for the promised land oh who will come and go promised land no chilling winds nor poisonous breath can reach that healthful shore sickness sorrow pain and death are felt and feared no more when shall I reach that and be forever blessed when shall i see my father's face and in his bosom rest filled with delight my raptured soul would hear no longer stay though Jordan's waves around me roll, fearless I'd launch away. I am bound for the promised land, I'm bound for the promised land. Oh, who will come and go with me? I am thank you for direction. I thank you for uh, the knowledge of knowing that because uh, you gave your life for us, uh, you came to rescue us, to ransom and buy us back, and that one day when we leave here, we are bound for the promised land. We love you, Lord, and we thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you, folks. See you Friday.